What's up? My name is Jamie Aaron, and today we're talking about a cool rhythm guitar pattern you can use in the blues. This is something derived from Delta blues played on acoustic guitar, but evolved into something that was played in Chicago blues and Texas blues. And it's a very simple kind of thing, and it can really enhance your blues rhythm playing. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with just a simple A chord. Good old fashioned A open position chord. Play with your first finger as bar though. And then you're going to take your pinky and put it on the fifth fret of the first string. And from there we can also play the flat seven. Now you might be used to this chord with your second finger, but you can actually walk down the entire A minor pentatonic scale while holding this chord shape. You can give a little bend to that C too. So you can get this cool pattern. And of course I'm using my pick to get this kind of bass line going. But you don't have to do that. You could ditch the pick and just use your fingers. Here I'm doing hybrid picking. You could just use your pick. But it just brings out a little of that blue scale sound. While well, using the A chord as sort of an anchor. And I have a tune, I'll link it below, called Find My Blues. And I use this sort of approach for the main riff of the song. Of course, I used a capo. So it's in A, but actually in C, um, which this stuff sounds great with a capo too. And then when you want to go to the four chord, you just go ahead and take that bar, make it a D triad, put the root on top, there's your four chord, same pattern. Tonic scale doesn't sound good with the D7, so you want to avoid it on the four chord and just keep the root in the flat seven. And then for the five chord, you can do the same thing, of course. Make that an E triad up at the ninth fret. Reach for the E and then the flat seven, the D. The thing about the E is the E minor pentatonic will work over this E7. So you could throw that in there. You could do a little chromatic passing note on the D7. D, C sharp, C natural. You can also do that chromatic passing note on the A7. It sounds really good going into the D7 actually. turnaround of choice. And if you want to know some more blues turnarounds, I made a video a little while back about some of my favorite essential blues turnarounds. Things like this. So I recommend you check that out. So you can really expand upon these and it really is a great way to comp through a blues and you can add it. You don't have to commit to this the whole time. You can add it into other blues comping styles and just, you know. Thank you for watching this lesson. I hope you get a lot out of this concept and can improve your blues rhythm guitar playing. If you like this video, please comment, like, and definitely click subscribe. I put YouTube videos out every single week, guitar lesson videos, all different styles, performances, gear demos. You don't want to miss the next one. Thanks for watching.